inu jalan ke ahe jadi nolong kami kami mau murid pak kalau kepenian ada kayu nanda b kalau tanah kami itu lah b nu kepeni bela pun jalan mesti jauh dari kita bela pun jalan mesti jauh dari jauh uban dalam kawasan me yang pelai tanah b mesti situ ni kami lah kami barang kami matai pun jalan kami matai pun dalam detik me ada situ ni kami lah bela mau mesti jauh bela mau mesti jauh dari jauh dari bukan uban tanah me b pun bukan uban dalam kawasan me ada situ ni För, för båtar. Då. Så vi bara häng här och väntar på att det ska komma en annan taxi. Liksom. Jävligt bra upplägg. Vi väntar på en cigarrbåt då. <laughs> Så kanske, kanske den kommer där nu. Penans is one of the uh, ethnic group in Trawa, and there are about uh, 10,000 of them. The Penans are totally dependent on the forest in order to uh, survive. <laughs> Uh, they are making uh, benches for uh, for us to sit down and so we we also going to have a uh, meeting meeting here yeah Ja, det är er flott att de utvidgar för oss. Det är er det går fort. Sensuellt. De er så rolig, de er så det er så stille her, det er så det er så helt ubeskrivelig. Jeg har ikke sett noe sånn, jeg vet ikke. Så er det, så er det mye skjerre, sant? Men de, de tør liksom ikke å gå helt bort, eller om de ikke vil, eller jeg gjør heller ikke det, og det er skikkelig rart. The Penan area has been uh, badly ex exploited by the uh, logging company. 
Nek piso me hunta nak emo kok jauh mai ke pelina cai. Be jawit mitu piso mi sitai murip ke pejawit ina. Murip ke peh tuai ke peh ke antong tanak mitu ke peh temurin mitu. Piso mi sitai tai ke peh ke an murip ai ave tong uban mena kira ave ke an hun ke peni bena cak murip ke peh jawit ngan wai ngan kat liwah mena ke peh. Piso mi sitai mole temurin mitu murip ke peh wut me ave ke peh ke an tina ina jalan ame omok murip tau. Hun itu bela kenan. Susah lah. Pesen poho ame ni halawai, pesen poho ame ni hala daun, pesen poho ame ni lakau ni kepening tu, ni medaya mi. Itu okok mika tu. Ni ame tengen ni, nak kejauh bak minah tengen le syaya mi. Hun kepening yang ke. Hun itu lah, ni bela ke metawud, ni bela ke ala si daun ni nah. Mokok ke awah ni hami. Syukat ame, redau tu nak. Lakau lawai tengen ame. Because of the destruction of the forest. It is very sad to see uh, the penandans there, and uh, they have faced a very serious food problem. They have uh, not enough food because of the destruction to their forest. It's good if they have uh, a meal in a day, but from our observation, sometimes they don't have a food to eat in a day. Nalah, sebab inilah mereka kena hak. Juk nyakat kawasan me, juk nyakat petik me, juk nyakat jalan me, kuni tu. Sebab ino uban me ceruh anak me, uban me ceruh kelunan ikepengan me, ayam me kepela ayam na. Sebab me nyakat dalam kawasan, itu lah cenderung me, anak me dengan ayam me. Biar me jah ceruh ilacit ame eh jauh kuni tu awak. Kuna me ceruh itu, bela me makan nyakat. Uban ame berguna nyakat dalam kawasan me, dalam petik me, uban me ceruh anak, uban me ceruh ayam me ayam. Ina me megang nyakat, ina me megang juk pane. Jalan kino ah gaya pengurip me, jalan kino ah eh penenang me. Haka ah jalan pemika, haka ah jalan pengurip ame. Itu ni lah ame lah. Uban me ceruh, bek me jah ceruh urip me hunito ah. Nampak me ceruh urip me hunito, bek ame lah punya kat. Nampak me ceruh dengan ayam me dengan anak me berita lah me ceruh gak me ayam lah. For the penan, because they have been occupying their land for generation, whether they are nomadic, semi-nomadic, or settle, that's not the question. They all have the right to their land. I mean, they never go and claim other people's land. They do move like any other native communities, but they confine their movement, their settlement, only within the boundary of the land, you know. In Sarawak, when we talk about logging, you know, it is uh, always uh, connected to political uh, issue because those involved in uh, logging industries are the politicians themselves, are the ministers themselves, and uh, people in the government themselves. Although this is a, a clearly a conflict of interest situation, but uh, people are not uh, at all uh, concerned about it. You know? I mean, they just go on and on. The government just approve and then issue permit or license to certain individuals who have uh, political connection in the government without consulting the people. That's why uh, we are saying uh, actually the issuance of these logging licenses uh, is or are illegal. Are illegal because uh, the law recognizes our rights. I mean the rights of these communities within all these areas like the Penang. So the state should uh, respect that. I mean, it's just uh, obviously corruption eh? and greed, that's all, nothing else. When the company come to work in the area, 
They just uh, don't care who is living there, whose right is affected there. They just go to the area, bring all their tractors. The company just don't care. The companies brought uh, gangsters here to go and threaten people. And in fact, we received complaints of people uh, in some places uh, who are actually beaten up by these people who are paid by the companies. As you start. Jeg synes det er veldig synd at det skal være sånn. Jeg synes også det er veldig trist at det skal være sånn. Fordi selv om vi er annerledes og kanskje har annerledes klær, snakker annerledes, så skal vi få lov å være annerledes. Mener jeg. The next potential uh, area to make money for politicians, for uh, their cronies, you know, is to go into land development. Here have been a before. There was a big, big before here. And what happens is that companies plant plants, palm oil. And it's with people to kill people. Fra deres hjem. Vi skal opp til en blokkade som IBAN-folket har laget, fordi de ikke vil at et selskap skal trenge inn i området deres. Å lage en papirfabrikk. Det er jeg veldig spent på, for her prøver jeg litt action. In Tatao, the IBANs are putting up a blockade against Colonial Pub and Paper Company. You people is uh, which part is coming from? We are coming from Norway. Norway, oh. Norway. All Norway. of you is from Norway, right? Yeah. Oh, very good. Oh. Hi, Norway. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you all, people. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. This one is a uh, blockade is number three. Uh -huh. Okay, this one is a uh, blockade number three. And this one, number five, right? Mm. Five. This one is number four, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it clear? They are putting up a blockade because their land rights have been uh, extinguished by the state government and uh, uh, their land have been acquired by the government. Oh, kami ngagap lukit tau, ya setuju ya, Mat. Laban kami dah lama payah kis de kucing din. Semak keempat tahun, tengok-tengnya alu nak dia tu ke perintah. Sida alu majak kerja. Derara kami majak kerja, rara majak kerja, nyaklah kami nyetup, sida yang ngob lukit tau. The company is one make to one city. Okay, ah. I see. Yeah. Berfold dah har regjeringen, eh, og... Eh, at selskapet skal lage selve store fabrikken. Jadi kita tidak ya, tidak ekak ngagak kilang. Lepas kilang tu, nu tidak ya tadi yang ingin kertas tu bakal kayu tu. When the land was extinguished, the people was not clearly informed about the impact of the extinguishment of their right to their land.
I mean, I would say it's mainly based on uh, a kind of greed. You know, it's simply greed to take uh, people's resources within people's land. That's all. I mean, otherwise, I mean, how else can you describe it? So after the no, the right was being uh, extinguished. So the people start to take action. When the when they construct this structure here, they also slaughter like pigs, chickens, and uh, which they put on all this uh, container here. Yeah. So actually, this is a kind of uh, what they call it, the talk to the ancestor, right? to the uh, what they call it, uh, spirit. That whoever uh, torn down the structures, there will be something we fall upon them. You know? Maya perintah kedatai itu, polis polis kedatai itu, security guard hari BPP engau tidak percaya percaya hari perintah engau BPP kedatai itu. Tidak ya pun Maya tidak ya masuk itu beranda engau kami pun tidak ya pun nanti boleh masuk ke jaku. Lalu tidak ya pun kita kita lebih ke kita nemu baka tuan residen ya segi biasa berjaku engau ramai engau pun ya nanti boleh nanti boleh masuk ke jaku. Okej, nu hänger upp kurvan mitt. Och detta här är nog spiritual grejer och jag har inte peiling på att det här går ut på. Det är lite speciellt. Men det är så kul att de verkligen tror på det. De håller fast på det, på den där om det tror sig. Och så tror det är det är min del att de tror faktiskt på det. De törs inte gå in och få blockad. Jag vill att du önskar a strongness and uh, happiness and freedom and rights in your future. So I wish you good luck and never give up your dream. People are developing courage because if they don't protest, uh, who else will help them? They cannot go to the politician because the politician are the one behind all this. So it's a question of choice. Whether you you fight and then you may win something, or you don't fight and then you lose everything. In Papua New Guinea, there's a big range that goes down, with, and up on the ranges, uh, there's uh, lots of people there. Unfortunately, it's uh, very difficult to get into the, those places, so those people are the most uh, disadvantaged people anyway in the country. The Managlas happen to be one of those communities. <coughs> The 
the first time any white men went in there was the late 50s when everybody in Papua New Guinea had already seen a white man. So the Monoglas people have just recently been introduced into the civilized world, as you call it in English. Som du ser så är en halv människa runt mig och jag ska faktiskt gå i två mil. Så det blir väl antagligen sex timmar. Jag tänker mig långt in i bussen men men jag har vant mig så tar jag en tagvis pauser. Mr. Chatterbox, Mr. Chatterbox, how long will you live? Always to receive but never to give. Always carry news all over the place. Mr. Chatterbox, you are a big disgrace. No, I shall try to learn reggae here. The Managlas project is uh, situated in Oro province, and it's a project that uh, is geared towards uh, bringing all the communities together, uh, basically to decide what they want. So all the clan groups, which means the families decide what they want, which comes to the bigger clan group, and then from the bigger clan group, they come to the big combined forum. flying everywhere that uh, people are interested with our forest and people are trying to move in and you know all this so we have to somehow take a, a, a step ahead in, in order to tell the world that uh, uh, you cannot be allowed into our area or you are, you know, we have guidelines or all this set up already we are organized and uh, we can do it ourselves so we can protect our own land all this. A big part of the project now is about educating the communities. Uh, firstly, to know their rights, um, because as far as they're concerned, uh, they don't understand that uh, they actually have rights over whatever resources they have. So it's important to uh, get the people to understand that the land is the power. As long as you can have control over your land, then you have the power. And that's where our work is important now that we we need to really educate our people, tell them that this the good and bad about uh, preserving our own forest and it's good for us now and for our future generations and very important that we need to protect our own, our own forest. <laughs> At the moment, we have a vast tropical rainforest, untouched, um, still intake. The forest, you walk into the forest, people know what the tree is used for, uh, the shrubs, the soil. The land is uh, central to all cultures here. Uh, you can take everything away and people will still survive. Once you take uh, land away, then I mean that's it, that's the end of cultures. Uh. The greatest threat is uh, misinformation or no information. The greatest threat is people not realizing that they have power over the resources. So if a logger comes in and say, you know, give me your logs or your trees, I'll give you the school, 
the road, the basic services that you need, they'll go for it. And you know what uh, uh, the loggers do? They go in with their bulldozers, their machines, and they practically remove the mountains, the hills, the rocks, everything out of the way. The government has just recently talked about uh, granting another 32 concessions. This is a, this is a logging concession. We've calculated that uh, half of the country will be logged uh, within five years. In Sarawak, you, you've seen the logging, the destruction. And you probably realize that there's no forest left. Those same companies are coming here now. This is the last piece of virgin rainforest left here in the Asia Pacific region. The world is trying to become one. I don't know whatever it is. They're trying to globalize the economy of the every country, deregulate their national legislations, and impose the international treaties and such. And transnational companies, for instance, the, uh, the loggers internationally, I think they have a network. And their main agenda is to go around um, third world countries, grabbing whatever they can grab while the time is still there. It's immoral, unethical, uh, inhuman. I don't know what the other words to um, describe the way they, uh, the activity and the group of people that I would describe. They don't have a respect for human life. And they don't have a respect for the environment. It's not their problem. All they want is what's there in, in the land. And it's really immoral.